What's going on, everybody? Warren Lorenz here from Tech Meets Trader. Um, I actually was just managing a position and thought that everyone would benefit from, I guess, watching over my shoulder. So, wanted to talk through with you guys how I'm going to be managing my Facebook trade going into earnings. Um, as you guys can see, I've been long Facebook for a while now, starting at the 125 strike and have been accumulating positions from the 125 calls to the 175 calls and 150 calls as well um, up quite nicely on you know my leaps that I have on the 125 calls I'm up I think 335 um, percent hundred at the 175 strike I'm up a little bit uh, I think around like 40 percent and then um, on my uh, what June 15th of 2018 150 leaps I have uh, let's see I'm a 60 percent profit there so I mean that's looking good and um, you know Facebook has gone a long way from you know going into earnings so as you guys will all know on Wednesday they they report their quarterly earnings um, and what's expected actually is what I was showing you on the earnings whispers so you'll see that the consensus is um, for 1.28, the earnings whisper number is $1.40 uh, EPS. So that's pretty meaningful, meaning that you know very, people are very, very bullish on Facebook. There's a, a lot of you know long sentiment, and ultimately coming so far so fast, I want to um, reduce my delta and, and take a little bit of risk off the table. So you know, based off of earnings whisper, I'm not too you know familiar. With the service, but I do value you know just outside input, and I see that there's some pivot points at 183, um, and uh, you know here are some of its growth metrics. Pretty pretty you know lofty goals that they're trying to accomplish. So let's walk into the trade and see how we're actually managing it. Let's see. Oops. So here's some face here's Facebook on the one year one day chart. I'm actually going to pull up the Ikimoku Cloud instead because I think that this is better illustrates. For those that are familiar with the Ikimoku Cloud, look on this left screen how far we've come from the nine trade moving average. I mean, we went straight into the Kumu to the cloud and we hit off the 26 period um, moving average and then we just shot right up, right? Extremely bullish move. Um, not saying I'm not long Facebook or you know, gonna stay long Facebook. My Nelt Delta is gonna remain long but like I said before, managing my risk, I want to you know, take a little bit of risk off the table. So to do so, I'm actually looking at the weekly expiration options um, for November 3rd. I'm looking at, let's see, so I'm going to go into the Greeks because ultimately I would like to match up my deltas, right? So, where am I? There it is. <clears throat> right, so... My Facebook, I'm a net long 238 of a net delta, meaning that for every one dollar Facebook goes up, I make 238 dollars, um, you know, per share or yeah, uh, ideally, right? So that's my overall exposure, long exposure to Facebook. And if Facebook missed earnings, say, and they had to drop down by five dollars, well, I'm not too excited about giving away, you know, at least a thousand dollars worth of the profit that I've already had, right? So. To do so, I'm looking at some cheap um, calls. Might even, you know, let's see. Looking at the 170. Mm, if see if I bought two, I could throw in a bid, right? As Facebook rallies, I can go over here. One seventy-five. We're looking at the puts. We'll do a good till cancel because earnings is until Wednesday, right, guys? So we're preparing for Wednesday, and in that event, inside this, no one cares anymore. You know, we can get two of these. I'm still gonna have. Um, so the net delta for these are forty-one. I'm still gonna have a little over one hundred twenty-five dollars with the risk on the table, but I still. Uh, I'm, I'm protected to my downside, right? And so, does it make sense for me? No, it doesn't actually. I don't like that. I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that risk for reward. Sorry, guys. I think the best and smartest way for me to go about doing this is 
most likely start selling calls, right? So if I'm already in that long the position, because there's two opportunities in which you can take. You can actually buy puts on the outright, which I was just looking at. And like I said, guys, this isn't rehearsed. This is kind of me just um, explaining to you my rough thoughts as I'm going through the experience, right? I'm looking at the 175 puts, and, and those were expensive. Uh, 177, 50 puts, they were expensive, right? So um, now just knowing that I'm already long, why well, actually have a net debit when I can just receive money and, and collect the credit, right? The premiums on these contracts, these weekly, weekly contracts, are really expensive, right? Just because you'll notice um, the implied volatility is 53% for this week. So these contracts are extremely expensive with an implied volatility of 53%. The market makers are saying that it can move up or down, you know, give or take $8, right? So to protect some of these gains, wouldn't it make sense if I said, okay, I'm going to sell um, two of these upside calls at the 185 strike? That still leaves me, that still leaves me a little over $5.30 um worth of upside if they were to be earnings right but on the downside at, at the very least i'm still going to collect this premium through the weekly right so i'm happy with that i still want to i still have three um let's see i'll show you my position once again so like i said i have three calls still right here um and that means i'm long let's say 300 shares, right? At various price levels, 125, 150, 175. But I only want to, I only want to cover, let's say, 200 of those 300 shares because I still want to be long 100 shares after the fact of taking a little bit of risk off the table, right? I still want that long exposure. I still want to capitalize on the upside, but I want to make sure I have a little bit more protection with. You know, I still a five dollar upside uh, at the moment, which is still you know very attractive. That's um, based off of that, you know, that's almost an extra thousand dollars I'd be able to lock in before, uh, you know, even being exercised, let's say these extra 200 contracts by the end of the week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell those. Let's see. Sold. Nice. And so now you'll see in my this one position. Bam. We're good to go. We're covered for earnings. We're set net long Facebook. Um, hope Facebook beats earnings. But nonetheless, even if we don't, we're going to have a little bit of protection to the downside. So uh, everybody have a great start to your week. It's Monday morning at 1030 uh, Pacific time, which makes it 1130 Eastern time. So if you're, you know, at lunch Eastern time, I hope you guys are all having a good lunch and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye now.